have my labor and delivery video for you. I just want to, uh, you know, explain why I was gone for as long as I was. I did end up having a baby and I had a boy, his name is Ace, and he is currently two months old. So I just want to, you know, backtrack a little bit and explain how my labor and delivery went. So I actually had to be induced at 41 weeks. My due date was originally November 7th and he was born November 15th. He was born at 2.20 a.m. and he was 19 inches long. So it was kind of like your typical labor story, I guess. I, you know, was started on Pitocin and that was really painful. It kind of took maybe... I want to say four or five hours for that to kick in and I had really bad back labor. I don't know if any of you other moms out there have ex like experienced that but it's probably the worst pain I've ever been in. So as soon as I was able to get an epidural I did and that definitely reduced the pain a ton. I did experience Braxton Hicks throughout my entire pregnancy, so I wasn't too familiar with what real contractions felt like and what just Braxton Hicks felt like. So I guess the whole time I was pregnant, I did experience contractions, just not actual labor contractions, if that makes any sense. So when I did go in to be induced, I got induced at about 2 a.m. I was put on something called... Um, Oh, I forgot what it's called. It's a pill that they give you to induce your labor. I don't know the name of it right now at the top of my head, but I will link it down in the description if anybody is interested. Um, other than that, I had a pretty routine labor. I went in and I was already about three centimeters along, and my active labor didn't really start until I was at about five or six centimeters. Right after I did get my epidural, I went into labor within about 45 minutes. So my doctor came in, she checked me, and I was at about nine and a half centimeters dilated. And I could kind of tell because you get that urge to push. So it's not really a, it's not the same for everybody, I don't think, but you just get an urge to push, and that's what I was experiencing. The nurse was like, oh, no, no, that's normal, and I was like, no, this doesn't really feel normal, so she sent in my doctor. My doctor checked me, and I was nine and a half centimeters dilated. I really wasn't expecting it to go so fast, but I'm really happy that it did, and then when it came to pushing, now, that's a different story. I started pushing at about... I want to say 10 30 p.m. and I pushed for a total of four hours I didn't have him until 2 20 a.m. so I mean it wasn't consistent pushing I did stop you know every couple minutes took a breath because it was very strenuous on my body every time I would push and he would drop a little bit lower his heart rate would go down and my heart rate would you know skyrocket so it was definitely a a scary experience and one of my really good friends actually experienced the same situation. I will link her labor and delivery story down in the description for you guys to go check her out as well. She's got really good content and I think you guys would really enjoy her videos. Um, other than that, I don't really think that there's much else to talk about. I mean... The labor part was really difficult. I think the aftermath was what's worse because nobody really explains to you what labor does to your body. My body kind of just shut down after two hours of pushing. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. I didn't know why he wasn't coming out. And it was more of the fact that every time I would push, his heart rate would drop. So they would have to reposition me and his obvious heart rate would go back up. And they actually wanted me to have a C-section if after four hours he wasn't you know coming out but I really didn't want to have to do that so I mean when it came to the last three pushes I pushed so hard and he did end up coming out I will insert some clips of him being born after you know we talk about it a little bit more um but yeah I mean everything happens for a reason and I think that I went through what I went through in labor 
just to see that you know it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be but you know I made it through everything was good after he was born the only difficulty that I experienced after he was born was that my placenta actually didn't come out on its own my doctor had to take it out but I'm really happy that she did that because some people their doctors will just leave the placenta in and then they'll get sick that actually happened to one of my really good friends that had a baby and I'm really happy that that didn't happen to me. It did hurt, but it wasn't like a pain. It was more of like a discomfort. And uh, for me, when I had gotten the epidural, most people say that, oh, you can't move your legs. You can't, you can't feel anything. That is not the case for me. I actually could feel everything. Not feel, because I didn't feel the pain. I didn't feel the pushing. I felt all the pressure. I could still pick up my legs. I could still move my legs. I uh, did get the shakes a little bit, but it wasn't terrible, and that took a while to go away. I mean, I the epidural wore out, wore sorry, wore off, and I still did have the shakes. So I mean, it took maybe a good four hours for the shakes to go away, but it, it's not terrible, you know. It definitely definitely did its job I'm really happy that I was able to feel my legs because that is one of the things that I was really afraid of going into labor was not being able to feel my legs um other than that I don't really think that anything in like anything stood out uh, he wasn't crying when he came out he kind of was really comforting and when they put him on my chest it was just kind of like a wow I really did that feeling um but I'm sure you moms out there do understand what I'm talking about um yeah so if you want to continue this journey with me and my son Ace and my husband Eric then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to go check out my friend Yvette Elizabeth on her channel. She also just uploaded her labor and delivery story. Thank you guys so much for you know sticking by me even though I didn't upload for a year and I really do appreciate it and I promise to give you guys more current content as soon as I can. Thank you so much and have a great night.